presenting from Monrepo, two members of Nord Crew. And these guys will be promoting, organizing, and presenting on the 19th of August, for the first time ever in Monrepo, a t-shirt jump up, or our local version of a carnival. I have here now Jordan Smith and Rufus Peter. Perhaps we can start with you, Jordan. Give us a synopsis, a general idea of what your upcoming event is about. Well, um, I'd like to say hello to everybody, all the viewers. I'd like to personally apologize for the absence of the members who, unfortunately, some of them working, some of them presently. Uh, so you know how it is already, but um, and what we try and organize is just something for the community. On August 19th, we try and do a t-shirt jump off. It's just a little something to bring community together. It's, once again, NOD just trying and show love throughout the community. So, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. All right, and of course, Rufus, you perhaps one of the upcoming prominent providers of music, or DJs, so to speak. Give us your perspective on the Monrepo Carnival, or the Monrepo Jump Up, coming up on the 19th of August. All right, well, I played Carnival already in January, and I, the first time I played was for a t-shirt band, so like, I spoke to the organizers and the members to get their ideas and views, so first of all, they started off with a DJ. So, the 18th, we have in a juve at Chapsco. That's with a, a normal fed, basically, tender for midnight. So, come on, next fed. So, we doing it after the main songs, ready to mash up and gallop. Then, like, 4 p.m., 4 a.m., we go into the road. It's all about juve, street madness on the road, up and down, flags, rags, water bottles, everything. But keeping it safe. Yeah, keeping it safe. Because we'll have security. Yeah, that's the main thing, security. We have security in there. And then, afterwards, like, we'll stop 7, 8 p.m., give people time to go and be, relax, and come back. No, no, no. That's basically after church. So, if you went to church, you could have time to come back and view it, or if you're jumping up or anything. But, right now, registration going on. Registration is only, like, $65. You get a package. You get t-shirt, water bottle, accessories, and free drinks and security too yeah because if you jump in it first you have to be secure okay so, now jordan tell us nord crew what does it mean is it does it mean not on that or <laughs> explain yeah. to viewers who might not know well, and um, yeah nord crew nod it was from basically you know sitting amongst ourselves it was a name which was recommended by ivan ross he's currently out of the island with his brother ivan ross who's also members of the crew he said it and it kind of, we kind of took a like into it because it's slang in truth, but it's a meaning that, it's, that's hard, it's, it's something to say that we, we're not really, um, said in what people often say, we're not really on, or focusing on all the negativities around, we're doing what we have to do regardless, what, ha um, regardless what have to be done, we go, let's do it, you know, so, that's how the, that's how the name came about and then, we had a little barbecue, um, maybe like six, seven, uh -huh. seven. But let's not forget, forget the focus. Uh, in terms of sponsorship, were you able to track sponsorship so far? Yeah, man. We were a lot of major sponsors. Can you name some of them so far uh, for this? So far, well, for currently we have Campari and we have Rooster. Rooster, Rooster and Campari. And, um, Harry. Ed Marfrey. Ed Marfrey. Yeah. Ed Marfrey. Ed Marfrey. We'd like to thank him, but there are a lot of big sponsors I was interested in, not one to work with us, but because of the budget. Remember, our carnival is all in August and carnival. Mm -hmm. major, the main event passed already, so it's, it's a business thing. So the budget, the budget, they already exceed the budget, so it's, you know, a lot of the big companies. All right, really but anyway, it, but so yeah. can you tell us briefly or quickly before we run out of stream space? What are your expectations like and how are things going and what are the numbers you're looking out for and what would be a benchmark a benchmark you'd look at to say, boy, that was successful, that was good? What are the things you'd look at, any of you? Well, we're looking forward to registering at least 100 people. And so far, majority of the people who registered are females. So I don't know what the guys are waiting on. Majority are females. 
Well, I wish I could have been part of the jump up, but I'll be busy that day because majority are females. So Providing the music. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So basically, registration going on throughout the week. Yeah, like we'll not close registration because like some people say. Any numbers you can give where they can call for registration quickly? Just I mean, well, just the other numbers. Seven one nine six five zero five. Oh. To it um. Seven two one zero seven eight four. Seven two one zero seven eight four. These are the numbers you can contact or you can call, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Two of Monrepo's brightest, two of the youngest, two of the most dynamic uh -huh. members. Of course, the other members of North Crew, but we were able to contact two of them. And for the first time ever, they are going to introduce a new feature onto the map of Monrepo: a carnival, a T-shirt jump up, whichever way you call it, in a significant month of August when we celebrate emancipation and a lot of other things, including the success of this region at the Olympics. We invite you to contact any of these guys, any of the members of North Crew, for the first time ever. A T shirt jump up in Monrepo, Emancipation Month. So, hats up to these guys, they're doing a wonderful job, doing their best to show that the youth have got sort of dynamism and you know they're ready to do things and to take on the challenges. So, kudos to you guys.